Welcome back to the channel. In today's how to video, I'm going to show you how using the Air Data website or app, you can download and review the flight data from your DJI drone. What is Air Data? Air Data is a free or paid website and iOS app that allows you to link your DJI account and then use the flight data from this to show your flights in more detail than you can get in the Fly app. There are some options that you need to subscribe to, but I use the free version, which allows you to store your 100 most recent flights and gives you access to the most useful information. The website link is in the description and I'll give a brief overview of its features, but I plan to publish a more detailed review soon, including the iOS app. The home screen shows the current weather conditions for where you are, your last four flights and the latest news about features on the website. The next section is My Logs, which has various options, including being able to upload flight logs manually. On the Flight section, you can see your stored flights and the summary of the last 100. To view a flight, simply click on the date. General information shows the overview of the flight, details about the location and duration, the equipment used, including the battery and remote, and a full review of all of the notifications, including the ability to play it back with the map showing where the drone was at each notification. Finally, you can review the map in large scale. All this information is also exportable in various formats, KML, GPX, CSV, as well as in its original format. The power section gives you details around your battery's efficiency, cell data and graphs, voltage and amp details, as well as the battery's main details. The sensor section shows information around the signal of the drone, with a map showing the strength, the average score for the flight, the GPS strength, as well as a score for the compass turn rate. Controls show the response rate and map details for the rudder controls of the drone. If the flight is long enough and enough data is available, you can see it in the map view as well. The weather section shows you the weather conditions for the flight, including the KP index. And if you upgrade to the paid version, you can see further details such as wind and altitude profile. In the final section, you can see the media which the DJI Fly app stores with your flight data. You can see it all in the Media Manager, upload more via the Upload option, or on the Map View, see where the drone took each video or photo. Also in the My Log section is the My Badge option, which gives you the ability to create a badge showing your flight history. The last option here, called Reports, is for the paid version only. The equipment section is also for the paid version, which you can upgrade to using the upgrade section if you wish to. Finally, the media section is a quick way to view the photos or videos imported as part of the drone log from the DJI Fly app. You can locate your videos and photos using the various search options in the left hand side. The enterprise paid version of Air Data allows live streaming from your drone. If you have selected this, you can also use the Media Manager section to find your previous live feeds. So let's get going and have a look at how to create an account. Using the link in the description, open the Air Data website login screen. Click Register Now for free. Enter your first name, last name, email address, and choose a password. Click to select the terms and conditions and choose if you want to get regular updates. When you're ready, click register. The website will then ask you to open your email and check for a verification email. Open the email and click the verify your email link. This takes you back to the website and you are now live and ready to go. To manually upload flights, click the upload flight option. This takes you to the upload screen with instructions on how to manually upload your flights. You can also link the mobile apps to your DJI account and automatically upload them with the HD Sync app. You will need a user token to do this, 
to ensure the data cannot be hacked. You can request this user token either in the front screen or in the My Account section. Once you have this, we can download the apps. I'm using an iPad, but there are also iPhone and Android versions available. In the App Store, search for Air Data. You will see two apps, Air Data UAV and Air Data HD Sync. The main app is where you can review your flight data once downloaded manually or via the HD Sync app. And the HD Sync app is where you link your DJI account to your Air Data account for automatic uploading. Download both the apps. Open the Air Data UAV app and log in with your new account details. If requested, allow the app to use your location data. This will help with the accurate weather data. The app opens with the ready to fly screen, showing the weather conditions for the remainder of the day for the location you're in. You can also use the search bar to look for a weather forecast anywhere that you plan to fly. When you have flights downloaded, they will show in the data section. Now let's link and download your DJI flight data. Open the HD Sync app, enter your DJI account details, and then the air data token number we got earlier. Select how many flights you wish to sync, and simply click Sync Now. The app will now download the selected flight records from your DJI Fly account and process them. When this is finished, the done syncing message will show. To always keep my Air Data account updated with my most recent flights, I always do this when I return home and I've synced the DJI Fly app logs. Now you can return to the Air Data UAV app. When you now go into the data section, you will now see your uploaded flights. Either in this app or in the website, you can now review all the data I mentioned earlier in the video. And it really is that simple. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come in the future.